Hi. In this video today, I would like to show you how to reschedule unfinished work in Microsoft Project. Okay. Assuming you are managing a project, and when you do some the calculation, you see that your project is running behind schedule. Yeah. And then you want to reschedule the plan. Okay. Instead of doing manually, so Microsoft Project will help you to do it automatically. Okay. That means in this video today, I will guide you how to do it. Let's get started. Assuming this one is a project plan I'm using for my project. And on the left hand, you can see this one is the list of tasks I have to be finished in my project plan. And on the right hand, this is the gun chart where you can see some of the progress of our project. Yeah. And there are some of the color in blue and other, other color in red. Yeah. The color in blue, that means this task is not belong into critical path. Other task in the red color will be belong to the critical path. Yeah. Okay. So here, when you see in the gun chart, you see a green vertical line here. This indicates that in today. Yeah. So you see all of the tasks on the left side of the green vertical line here is seem running behind schedule. Yeah. Because when you take a look into the percentage of completion here, we we don't have any task with 100% completed. Yeah. That means all of the tasks on the left will be behind schedule. And so now, we cannot finish project by on this current plan. So you have to reschedule re it to bring it back. And we need to do some calculation to have a new timeline for our project. Yeah. In this of doing it manually, so Microsoft Project will help you to calculate it automatically. You, in the menu navigation, you click on the project tab here. And you navigate to the status section here, and then click on update project button. When you hover to the project button, update project button here, you can see some tool tip. Yeah. It says that this update project will help you to up update progress information and reschedule work for some or uh, all of the tasks in the project plan. Yeah. Just go ahead to click on this button. And a new update project pop-up will be appear. Okay. And you see here, we have two main options. The first one, the update work at a complete through. Yeah. That means in this option, we have two sub, sub option. Set 0% to 100% complete. And the second one is set 0 or 100% to complete. Okay, that means when the project is, for example, I will select any date, choose one, November and state, yeah, so any task which is less than November, uh, November and state, it will be automatically change it from 0% or another percent to 100%, okay. As a task with uh, if the task if any task is greater than November and six, so it will automatically calculate the uh, corresponding per completed percent until this selected date. Okay. So here, let me show you for more detail. Okay. For example, here I will select the this is November and six, twenty twenty, and just go ahead, click on OK button. And you see all of the tasks, yeah, we we have the finished date is less than November and six will be automatically updated from zero percent or other percent, which is less than one hundred percent to one hundred percent. Yeah, okay, okay. And for the last time here, you see. 
this start have the finished date in November and 19. So it is greater than November and 6. So here you can see the percentage is only over 50%. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And if I update it back by selecting other date greater than November and 19. So this one will be changed to 100%. Let me show you. I select, select the November 20. Yeah. So this one changed to 100%. Okay. And I will back to the first version. Okay. And here in this video today, yeah, we have to select the second option because we want to reschedule on uncommuted work in our project, no? And then we need to select any date. For example, I select the November and say, that means this project will be automatically rescheduled for the new startup date will be uh, after November and say, okay. And we have some, we have two options here for the entire project or selected Task? Yeah. What does it mean? Okay. So here, you see here in the list tab here, for now I'm selecting the tab 10, develop design. Yeah. If you select the selected tab here option, that means I only reschedule for tab 10. Okay. Let me show you. Yeah. And you see here, this start will be start on the November and nine. Yeah. Uh, and other that still keep the, the original date. Okay. I undo this one and I click on update project again button. Yeah. And I will select the second option and type project. Yeah. So when you select the anti project, that means, um, Microsoft project will be updated the duration, I mean the timeline for all of the tasks in the project. Okay. Not only the selected task, but also for other tasks, the unselected. Okay. Click on, okay, let me see, let me select the option number two and six November. Okay. Yeah. And then you see here, all of the tasks in our uh, project plan have been changed the new timeline. Yeah. Okay. So taking a look into the gun chart. Yeah. You can see here it already changed. And we have the uh, green line in vertical here have been on the left side of all that. Yeah. So now that means for we have we only have a new project timeline for this project. Yeah. And you after we have a new project timeline, so you have to do baseline for the project baseline for the project. Yeah. You click on the set baseline button here. Yeah. When you hold over to this one, it will set that this set baseline will help you to take a snapshot of the schedule that includes information about tasks, resources, and assignment. Yeah. And then you can do this. You can use the baseline version to do some comparison between the actor and planning in the future. Okay. Click on set baseline here. Set baseline. Yeah. Okay. Click on set. You can select any version here because in this project, Plan, I still not set the baseline for this project uh, in the future. I, I, in the past, so now we don't have any version of baseline in Sky. If you already have uh, one or more version of baseline show, you should select some other baseline version here to set the new duration for the project. Okay. Click on the OK button here to confirm the baseline. Yeah. So now here you can click on the step by line button and you can see the first milestone, the first by line has been uh, set into the baseline. Okay. Okay.
So I think that's all for today. And I hope that after you finish this video, you know how to do the updating rescheduling for the project based on some target dates in the project. Okay. I hope this video will have fun for you. Let me know if you see any issue or you have any question. Okay. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. See you guys in the next video.